Freefall by Alex Segura is the latest young adult Star Wars novel. Taking place when Poe is 16 years old, that puts it 14 years after Return of the Jedi and 16 years before the sequel trilogy. It tells the story of Poe's time with the Spice Runners of Kajimi, who we of course meet in The Rise of Skywalker. For me, this was an average Star Wars story. I thought it was a very quick and easy read, and it moved along at a pretty fast pace. But it also didn't really grab me in the same way that, say, Alphabet Squadron did. Part of that is because Poe just wound up being a so-so character for me, which is surprising because I love pilots, but he has been explored so much in the movies, TV shows, comics, and now books that I'm ready to hear about someone else. On top of that, there's this sense that this story was at least partially written to fix Poe's backstory as provided in episode 9. I want to give Segura credit right now for making sure this story was so much more than a canon fix. It has something to say, and I agree with its messages, but it's still stemming from one of the things that annoyed me the most in The Rise of Skywalker. Zori says Poe was a spice runner until he abandoned them to join the Resistance. We know that's not true from books and comics that have been around for a long time. It turns out what really happened is Poe was part of the spice runners for about a year, and then he left to, my guess is, join the New Republic, but the bigger implication is that he wants to stand for something more than himself. That's all great messaging, but it just doesn't gel with what the movie says, but that's the movie movie's fault. I think Segura did the best he could to bridge the gap between The Rise of Skywalker and what other stories have said, but honestly, I wonder what he would have been able to write if he just got to tell the story of young Poe instead of the story of young Poe and how the history we knew from before wasn't all wiped away simply because JJ couldn't be bothered to check in with the story group. Okay. That's out of my system. I've said before that's something I found very frustrating in episode 9, but what's done is done. And again, none of that is the book's fault. I'm just coming at the whole situation slightly annoyed. Where Segura really deserves some praise is that he took something that could have been very surface level and made it something more. It's not just a, here's what happened to Poe while he was a Spice Runner story. It's about why his time as a Spice Runner was important. The setup is very familiar for Star Wars. Poe is basically a kid's stuck on a farm with a family that's too afraid to let him go. I think it's a nice touch that he lives on Yavin 4, a planet that is the ending point for Luke's first adventure. But for Poe, it's a prison. That drives Poe to desperation, and he leaves with a group of smugglers. Luke ultimately leaves Tatooine to do some good, but he also wasn't given much of a choice. It kinda makes me wonder how far Luke would have eventually gone to escape his life. I mean, he wanted to join the Imperial Academy after all. A major theme of the book, I think, comes down to what Yoda tells Luke. Adventure, excitement, a Jedi craves not these things. We all do crave experiences outside of our hometowns or immediate areas of existence. An escape from boredom and monotony. I mean, who can argue that point in the year 2020? But don't seek adventure at any cost. An exciting life without conviction, without the right motivation, it's empty. Instead, seek to do what's right. Seek the light and adventure will eventually find you an adventure worth experiencing. But to take that a step further, conviction to the wrong thing, or even too much conviction to noble intentions like justice, can lead to disaster. That's where Zori is different from Poe. She has plenty of conviction, but just because you're dedicated to a cause doesn't make it right. Her motivations are selfish rather than selfless, and Poe knows and has to grapple with that idea the whole story. There's also an antagonist to the book, a New Republic Security Bureau officer obsessed with avenging the death of her family at the hands of the Spice Runners, but we all know vengeance isn't a worthy pursuit. Star Wars has taught us that over and over. But something I like is that I think the main antagonist of the book might be Poe himself. His conscience keeps telling him the right thing to do, and it's Poe who is ultimately getting in his own way by not listening. The external forces around him don't have a major influence on what he does, they just offer him choices and we get to watch him succeed or fail in making the right ones. I think there's a lot of creative stuff going on with the story, and the themes all line up with what I expect Star Wars to say. It just wasn't my favorite. Poe's not my favorite character, and the whole Spice Runner thing has some baggage for me. It is what it is. But I think Poe fans will probably love this book, and if you're interested in the state of the galaxy in between the original and sequel trilogies, there is some good stuff to find in here. Things build on what we know of the lawlessness of the Outer Rim, thanks to the Mandalorian, and we get to see some of the struggles of the New Republic, even though it's over a decade old at this point. 
If you want to check out Free Fall for yourself, consider picking it up for free on Audible. Just follow the link in the description or visit www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained. The audiobook is out right now, and the production value on all the Star Wars books is very high with sound effects and music. It's like listening to a movie. Signing up for an Audible trial will get you a credit for one free book, and you can use it on Free Fall or just about any Star Wars book you can think of. Or get any book you want. The point is, you get a free book, and you'll be supporting the channel when you do. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.